So we're learning a lot now, a lot of logic. And so here we are with the aurora so far. The first thing we know is that the Earth spins. Uh, we've known that from very early on in the class. Number two, we know that the core is basically liquid and very hot. And we also know that in the core, there are a bunch of protons and electrons because it's so hot, they can't stay together in there. And number four, we know that the core spins. But because the core spins, charges must be moving. Okay? And the last thing here. <coughs> is that whenever you have moving charges, guess what? You have a magnetic field. That's it. This is the core of our logic, <laughs> and I hope everything's, hope everything's coming together now. The Earth spins, we know that. The core is a hot liquid. Because it's so hot, there's positive and negative charges in there because the atoms can't possibly stay together under those extreme conditions. We know that the core spins because it's part of the Earth. If the Earth is spinning, the core is going to be spinning too. That means charges must be moving <clears throat> in the core. But whenever we have moving charges, we must have a magnetic field. So the question then, or not the question, but the final conclusion here is that yes, because of everything I told you then, the Earth generates its own magnetic field because of all of these things because we have a liquid core because the earth is spinning because moving charge is making a magnetic field because all of that's true the earth generates its own magnetic field and that's true so here's what the earth looks like then we won't bother with all the detail of the core but here's sort of what the earth looks like as it sits in space here's the earth here's the equator <laughs> remember that hot, that hot cores in there with all those charges moving and so it turns out then that there is a magnetic field <clears throat> which emanates out of the North Pole like this comes out of the North Pole and I'm not doing this right just a second just sorry about that the magnetic field does emanate like this but it goes into the North Pole sorry about that it goes into the North Pole and there's all these sort of curved magnetic field line. So what I'm drawing here this is the magnetic field. And they go all the way back around. They loop into the South Pole like this. Pardon me. They don't loop into the South Pole. They come out of the South Pole like that. They come out of the South Pole like that. So here's the arrows. They go all the way around like that. You can draw smaller ones in here if you want. Smaller ones like that. So here they're going in, going in. And here they're coming out, coming out, coming out. So the arrows are sort of coming out of the South Pole and going into the North Pole. And this is the magnetic field due to the Earth. Earth's magnetic field. There it is. <clears throat> We've got one. Our planet has a magnetic field. And in general, this isn't a rule. Not all planets have magnetic fields, but we do because we have that liquid core and we're spinning. So this is sort of a full picture then of what the Earth would look like sort of in space. It spins, it orbits the sun, but it also has that magnetic field because of its spin. So I'll show you a video clip in just a second here to show you a few analogies with this Earth's magnetic field and an actual magnet.